Hello everyone, welcome to CM Lunch Break. We are so excited to be with you today. My name is Zoe and this is Miss Hannah. Hi, and we are the room coordinators for the children's ministry at the Rock of Roseville. I'm in the babes department. And I am in jam. And we're so excited to be with you today on Monday for another lunch break. We're gonna be reading through a devotional this morning. But first, Zoe's gonna to talk to you about a little bit of what's going on recently. So we understand right now there's a lot of transition and if you're at home from school or if you're homeschooled, totally understand that there's a lot of things going on, but don't worry because God has it under control. And our devotional is a little bit about how God has under control. Yeah, he has some great encouragement for us today. And it's all about his love for us and about how we can never be separated from the love of God. God has something to say to even you while you're at home through this video to encourage you that he is always with you. So listen up, you guys, and turn those listening ears on because this is for you. Um, parents, if you have a Bible handy, mm -hmm. I have the Adventure Bible. Um, so we can turn to Bible verses that we will yeah. be reading today. Yes, it's super important, the Word of God. <laughs> All right, but let's dive into the devotional. And here's what it says. Nothing can separate you from my love. Nothing you do or say or think will ever make me stop loving you. It just isn't possible because you're my precious one. My love is a gift. You don't have to earn it. You don't have to be perfect or even good enough. My love is simply yours to keep. It secures your connection to me, your savior forever. So our first Bible verse comes from Romans chapter 8, verse 39. Nothing above us, nothing below us, or anything else in the whole world wow. will ever be able to separate us from the love of God that is in Christ Jesus our Lord. Wow. So when everything is going well and you're happy, enjoy it. Don't worry about when the good might end or what troubles may come later, just smile and thank me. When things are tough, be brave. I will help you. I will never leave you and I will love you no matter what. Let's take a moment and thank God for what he's done in our lives that is good. Yeah. So Zoe, can you tell me what are you grateful for? I'm grateful that I get to be here with you guys. I get to be here with Miss Hannah and just enjoy being outside right now. It has been so beautiful. Yeah, the weather's been great. Yeah. I'm so thankful for spending time with family and friends. Wow. So guys, can you guys think about what you're thankful for? Take a minute and think. Hmm. All right, can you tell us what you are thankful for? And maybe tell your friends or your family around you? Wow, those are some really great answers. So good. It's really powerful to tell God what you're thankful for. I try to do it every day. Yeah. All right, let's keep reading. This is the last part. It says, this world will always have troubles, but there's one thing you never have to worry about. One thing you can always count on. My love for you, God's love for us. It will never end. Amen. Amen. So good. When one last verse from the Bible to just remind us of that. So parents, if you can turn to John chapter 16, verse 33, Jesus says, I have told you these things so that you can have peace in me. In this world, you will have trouble, but be brave. I have defeated the world. Amen. Amen. So good. So we have something fun for you guys to engage with at home. We're gonna do a little bit of a craft together. So you can take any sort of construction paper, colorful paper you have, and we're gonna cut some hearts. One of the hearts we're gonna put me on, and the other heart we're gonna put God's love. And you will glue these together so it looks like this. 
God's mm -hmm. love is on one side and me on the other side to represent that God loves us and will never separate us. Yeah, and it sticks like glue. <laughs> so fun. So you can try that at home if you have the time. Use whatever craft supplies you have just to remind us of how much God loves us. But let's end this time together, this great lunch break we just had together with a prayer. So bow your heads, close your eyes, maybe even hold your hands together if you like. Okay, here we go. Jesus, I thank you so much for every single kid at home, for mm -hmm. every mom and dad, brother and sister. Lord, I thank you that you love them mm -hmm. and that you will never stop loving them. Lord, I just pray that you would bless their Monday and bless the rest of their week. In Jesus' name, amen. amen. We'll see you on Wednesday. Okay, bye. Bye.